so um, we're just leaving Guadalajara. Uh, I, I came down here from Texas uh, and I met my girlfriend Tammy, who's my my helper and uh, accompanist or whatever you call it, my bestie. And because uh, we wanted to uh, go out to Paracho, this has been a dream of mine for a long time uh, to go to Paracho, which is in the Micho. Michoacan province and sort of in the mountains uh, southeast of Guadalajara and Guadalajara was the closest you know major airport I could see near Paracho it's about three hours away so today uh, we're driving to Paracho and we're gonna look for a guitar now Paracho is uh, the center of guitar making in Mexico and it was actually founded the whole town was founded by Spanish luthiers, so this is a total dream of mine. You know, I love Spanish guitar, I love nylon strings, I particularly love flamenco guitar, so I'm looking for a great flamenco guitar, and they've got some master builders there that uh, build in the Spanish tradition. So, right now we're just leaving Guadalajara, we're on the road, we rented a car, it feels very cool, it seems very safe. We did our research and, uh, you know, we're two women traveling together. So we, uh, we definitely wanted to make sure that we were going to be safe on the roads. We were told to drive during the day, um, to stay on major roads. So that's what we're going to do. And um, we'll just keep you in the loop. We're heading to Paracho. Adios. Adios. the store it's a small storefront here Salvador Castillo and uh, this is a flamenco model straight flamenco not a studio no a studio no, no just professional professional the concert yes this is the concert flamenco um, it's beautiful I had I was just playing it all. The cool thing about playing blues on a flamenco is, is you can be really rough with it, right? And percussive, and you can kind of beat it up a bit more, and it's just very responsive and very, um, sounds very... Right, it projects, as opposed to, can I try that? And this is different, that one's made of cypress. And this cypress is Mexican rosewood. Mexican rosewood. Beautiful wood, look at this. 
And then this is German spruce. And I love his rosettes that he does around the, the, the hole. It's beautiful. And this one's got a totally different vibe, much deeper sounding, right? Benito Huepe. Mr. Huepe. <laughs> I used to have my shop in, in Los Angeles for oh, like oh, yeah. more than 40 years. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, we read that. We were reading about you before yes. we came down here. Uh, I started selling my guitars and my case and pickle wire. Santa Monica. Okay, nice. Pickle wire and my case. My case, yeah. They started selling my, my guitars when I was uh, making. All right. And do you export them to? Mm -hmm. Do you export them? Yes. Yeah. To uh, California? Yeah. To a man. Yeah. To a man. To a Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. Look at that. That's yes. very beautiful because too. It's Look for at the wood. White pegs. It's for all. Oh. White pegs. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Cocolo. Cocolo. This, uh, this is finished tomorrow or more later, uh, maybe uh -huh. in the edge. Bye. Wow. Mañana? Mm, tomorrow, a las ocho. Ah, como a las ocho. 
Ya es nomás de poner las cuerdas, pues esta le mandamos. Tomorrow. Wow. Es nomás de poner las cuerdas, nomás que ya no se nos pasó, pues. Wow. That's cool. Did you see the back of this? Yeah, yeah let's take a look. Coco Bolo. Coco Bolo. I never did that. Coco Bolo. Made for the wood. For the wood. He said his. Oh, that's the one. Is that the one? No, it's the one. 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 It's the
Oh, Blanca. Flamenco Blanca. familia de las albergias de, de los palos santos de Brasil, nomás que este es mexicano y el otro es brasileño. Okay, like like Muy denso. Brasil, so this is a this is a flamenco blanca. It's made of Cyprus. And Canadian spruce. This is Canadian spruce on yeah. top. Yeah, yeah. And uh, ebony on the neck. Ebony on the neck. Mm -hmm. And uh, on uh, mahogany. Mahogany. mahogany behind the uh -huh. neck. Yeah. All right. It's beautiful. Again, plays beautiful. Cedro, Cedro, Cedro y spruce. este es Abeto. Abeto. Canadiense los dos. Both Canadian. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Y este es Palo Escrito. Escrito. Ciprés. Cypress. Este es rosa mexicana. Oh, rosa. like rosewood. Mexican rosewood. Mexican rosewood. Y Ciprés. And Cypress. Wow. And the neck. Qué diferente. Sí, es un modelo. Just this for you? Sí, también. Original. Sí, sí, sí. And um, and the neck, the neck. Is it mahogany? Mahogany. Okay. Ajá, y ebony. Ebony board. Okay. Wow. And extra. Sí. El extra drasco, frets. Sí. So. <laughs> Imagine that. I love the versatility of these guitars. You know, you can just play so many styles on them. I love the design of this one. I do too. It's so unusual. It's very unique. So unique. right now it's beautiful and this is all handmade this is 
a flamenco negra. It was made a month ago. It's a baby, and I plan to work this guitar in for years. I will have it my whole life. So, gracias. Gracias, Santo. Felicidades. Yes. yes. So we're at the um, shop of Carlos Peña here in Paracho and looking at a beautiful classical piece, or classical guitar, I should say. Um, just check out the woodwork. It's beautiful. This is Mexican rosewood with a spruce top. Uh, ebony fretboard, I believe. Um, Correct. We've been communicating the best we can. We don't have an interpreter today, so we're <laughs> doing our best. But this is a beautiful... guitar. This one is going to go to my son who expressed an interest in it. And check out this beautiful design by Carlos Pina. And this is his son Edgar. They're both luthiers here in uh, Paracho. They make beautiful guitars. Here's their workshop. You can see around. And uh, yeah, come to Paracho, buy a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gracias. Gracias. Paracho, baby. Love it. Okay, so we are heading back on Highway 15, the main highway here, a toll highway in Mexico, back to Guadalajara. Sorry, I to dodge some traffic. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, success. We had a great trip, and it was only one day in, in Paracho, one night, and... Uh, Kind of one evening and one morning and we scored two amazing guitars um, overall i feel really um, refreshed and excited the guitars are amazing um, but also just because you know we traveled in mexico on our own and i it was all very mysterious to me before this you know what was it going to be like is it safe and all these things were in my head you know but now i know that it's pretty safe we even had some you know times through some small villages where we felt a little unsure about things but really the entire time we felt really safe we felt excited the people were amazing and the experience was 100 percent worth it so i highly